Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna be showing you how to make a taser with a $5 bug zapper. Okay, so I found almost everything I could think of that we're gonna need for this build. So the first thing is some wire strippers right here and wire cutters. Wire strippers are to strip the, the casing off the wires so they're more exposed. Gonna need some kind of screwdriver. Depends what kind of screws your bug zapper has in it, but mine has Phillips screwdriver. Isn't it? Oh, you might need a pocket knife. I don't know. You're gonna need some electrical tape. So enough talking. Let's get into the build. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the bug zapper here. And mine doesn't come with batteries, so there's no batteries in it. So it's not gonna shock you if you put batteries in it. And if you're gonna do this, make sure you take the batteries out of the bug zapper before you start taking it apart. In it. I'll put the Phillips head in my screwdriver here. And I'm going to start taking apart the bug zapper. So we're inside of our bug zapper here, as you can see. So I'm just going to try and keep it as intact as I can. And I'm gonna pull this green mesh part out right here and try not to cut any of the wires yet. So I'm just gonna pull this apart. I have to pull that out right there. So now when you take this apart, you're gonna see three wires right here. Okay, so once you have your bug zapper all apart like this, you're gonna wanna cut all these wires connecting to the mesh right here. Okay, so you can take these parts, throw them away, you don't need those anymore. And as you can see on the handle part, we have two yellow wires and one red wire. So this circuit board holds the charge and has capacitors on it and that kind of stuff. So you're gonna wanna cut one of these yellow wires because you only need one. Okay, so I cut one yellow wire off, you don't need that. So now you're going to want to get a wire strippers right here and strip the wire. So now you can see the inside of the wire and that's what we want. So now you're going to strip the yellow wire. All right, so we have both of the wires stripped here, as you can see. So in order to create a charge or a spark, you're going to have to make these wires tough or have them really close together to create a spark. So now I have both of the wires stripped. I stripped them a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go grab two nails or two thumbtacks or something like that. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Okay, so I grabbed some electrical tape here and two nails like this. You're also not gonna wanna, or you're also gonna wanna make sure the nails aren't too big because if they're too big, the charge is gonna be able to jump from one nail to the other. So take one nail and wrap one wire around the bottom of the nail, just like as you can see here, and wrap that with electrical tape. Okay, so as you can see here, I wrapped both of the nails in tape just like this. And make sure you wrap it at least halfway up the nail because you don't want it sparking inside other than outside, like how you want it. So just make it look like this, as you can see. Make sure it's electrical tape for this one because you don't because electrical tape doesn't let the charge go through it. So next step you're gonna want to position your nails inside of the bug zapper. Not to make them too far apart, but yeah. So that is how I want it right there. Make sure your button didn't fall out because mine did, and if it did fall, put it back in. And now we have both of our nails positioned. And now we're gonna close up the bug zapper. Okay, so I closed up the bug zapper here and now you're gonna wanna put all the screws back into it. Okay, so I screwed up the bug zapper, and now we have two loose nails in here. And now, 
we get the electrical tape and we're going to try and position the nails in there as best we can. And if you have hot glue, use that and fill that with hot glue, but unfortunately I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to do the best I can with what I have. And alright, so there's our taser. So now, put the batteries in it and let's test it out. Okay, so I got the batteries and I also got Landon here with me. Hi. And I'm going to put the batteries inside. As soon as you put the batteries in, that is when it becomes dangerous. So, be careful until now. Alright, so I got the batteries in here. Now I'm going to test it on the screwdriver. So, let's see. So, there's a little test for you guys. And also, after you turn it off, make sure to not touch these for a while. And if you do want to touch it, make sure you take the battery out because the like, capacitors still hold the charge and it can still shock you. It doesn't hurt too bad, but it's still enough to make you jump a little bit. So, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did enjoy, make sure you support the channel by liking the video, subscribing to the channel for more awesome content just like this and leave a comment how you feel with the video. So also leave some video ideas for me, and as always, make sure you guys stay awesome, and peace out.